from new NCRT textbook. So in this video we are going to discuss the first exercise of this chapter. Let us see what is there in exercise 2.1. So here we can see the exercise 2.1. The graph of y is equals to p of x are given in figure 2.10 below. For some polynomial p of x, find the number of zeros of find the number of zeros of p of x in each of the following or in each case. So here first we can see the small graphical figure they have given that is a graph find the number of zeros we can see this is x axis and this is y axis and here the graph this is the graph main graph now so we have to check whether the graph intersect x axis at how many points we can see here the this graphical line is not that line is not intersecting x axis so number of zeros is no number of zeros that is zero your answer is zero why because the graph does not intersect x axis at any point okay so let us see the second one find the number of zero the question is so here the graph we can see intersect x axis at one point we can see it intersect at one point so number of zeros is equals to how many 1 number of zeros is 1 in this case so in this question the graph intersect x axis at 1 2 and 3 points the graph intersect x axis at 1 2 and 3 points so number of zeros is equal to 1 2 and 3 let us see the next question here fourth one here the graph intersect x axis at how many points 1 2 the graph intersect at 2 points so number of zeros is equals to 2 number of zeros I have asked to find the number of zeros we should check the graph intersect at how many points here let us see in this graph the graphical line intersect x axis at how many point 1 2 3 4 at 4 points we can see the graph intersect x axis at 4 points so number of zeros is equal to 4 let us see the last one here the graph intersect x axis at 1 point 2 points so number of zeros is number of zeros is equal to how many 1 and 2 so this complete the exercise 2.1 in my next video, I am coming up with the next exercise. So do like and share and subscribe my channel. Thank you.